Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm here with a new look. Um, I had some family stuff to do. It's summertime. I kind of wanted to look bronzy instead of really pale. So this is kind of how I did it to go ahead and look bronzy. Um, I did go ahead and use the Charlotte uh, Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And this is in 3 Coal, and it's the shade that matches me most of the time. Uh, what I did was add the NYX Born to Glow, and this one is the one that's actually in bronze. Uh, most of the time, if I mix this in with the foundation, I'll go ahead and use the pink one that I have. But this time I went ahead and used the bronzy one. So it's a really pretty look. Um, it just, you know, you're always concerned about looking too bronzy or streaky or whatever. And so mixing this in with the foundation gives a really pretty look. And so it did go ahead and uh, make my base darker. I did go ahead and use a Pretty Fresh Concealer and this, the one from uh, ColourPop. Oh, and as far as my base, I went ahead and used the Chic Glam. Uh, this is their primer, and it's uh, pink. Comes in great packaging. Really like the packaging on this one. She Glam, you can go ahead and get on the Sheen website. In ColourPop, you can get on the ColourPop website, um, or over at Ulta. And the Charlotte Tilbury, you can go ahead and get at Sephora or on her website. And then, um, what I went ahead and added from there to make it even more more better bronzier uh, was I went ahead and added in the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer and this one's a medium and it's part of the beautiful skin line so it's part of the same line uh, that the um, yeah the, the foundation is part of and I like really like both the products and again I had a family um, function to go to um, family dinner and awake and so you know it was trying to uh, well just uh, go ahead and celebrate somebody's life so yeah and um, let's see this is the tower 28 this is their their gloss and this one is in cashew And um, that I'm going ahead and putting on top of the, yeah, this is the 80E. Yeah, that's 80. Um, so this is the Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline. And this one is in shade 80. And then I went ahead and mixed it with the Tower 28, um, yeah, gloss. And yes, it's a rosy look and it's, sort of supposed to be a rosy bronzy kind of look and I did go ahead and use She Glam again and this is their mascara one side is lengthening the other side is going to be volumizing so um, you use both wands and you get the look and uh, let's see the next thicket ticket in the light ash brown I went ahead and used that as well as far as what I put on the eyes, the ColourPop uh, by The Rose, and this one actually came out at the beginning of the year, but I didn't pick it up until now. Uh, really pretty, pretty palette. I went ahead and used uh, this color right here for my base. Uh, this one on the inner corner. Then I used this one um, on the inner corner and first part of my lid. This one on the main part of my lid and this one right on the brow bone and it turned out to be a really pretty look um, liking it a lot and the ColourPop uh, gel eyeliner as well uh, to go ahead and do the eyelining and then as far as the way that that turned out the way the eye look turned out that's how that went I did go ahead and um, get a new palette over at Walmart this is a Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team Formula. And so this is what I used in combination with uh, Beauty Pie. This is their uh, Raspberry Shade. So I went ahead and put some of this on. And again, going for the rosy, rosy looks. 
and then I went ahead and used um, the trim team here and um, I put some of this on top of um, the cream blush just so that it would have extra stain powder or stain power and I think I'll go ahead and add a little bit more of that. This is the Cheeky Rose Beauty brush and it's really nice size especially for the cheekbone area. There we go, more of the rosy. And I did go ahead and use a couple of highlighters, being me. Um, I went ahead and used the Seismic by ColourPop. And yes, I have hit pan, and I'm almost all through with it. And yes, I do have a backup, because this is one of my favorite ones. I've also gone through a full uh, Flexitarian as well. So these ColourPop highlighters are really, really pretty, very shiny. And um, let's see, the other one that I used actually was uh, from the Charlotte Tilbury Ho Hollywood Super um, Superstar Glow Highlighter. So I'd gotten this two years ago. Yeah, and they said you would never hit pan on this. Well, uh, yeah, I hit pan and I kept going. So. Um, this is a really pretty highlighter as well that I went ahead and used from them. And I think I'll go ahead and put a little bit of that on as well. Naturally, it really becomes more of a uh, blush topper when you use it this way, but yeah. So there we go, a little bit more glowy. And so uh, this product I really like as well. And finishing up the high end, I used the glowish on top of it. Um, and again, really love this powder as well. This is the glowish by Huda, or yeah. And I have the fair light shade, so that's what I have there. Um, <clears throat> as far as the way that the look turned out, it definitely gave me a bronzy look for me. For most people, I doubt they would consider it bronzy. For me, um, it's probably the equivalent of having a fake tan on my face. Um, I did go ahead and do the, the uh, fake tanning with some of the Ulta products, but I didn't take it up uh, beyond my neck. And so let me show you what I did for the rest, and I need to go and grab that stuff, and I'll be right back. Hi, back again. Um, so as far as the face, you know, I went ahead and added in the NYX, um, the NYX glow and the bronzy glow to uh, my foundation. And then as far as going ahead and doing uh, neck, chest, arms, and what was showing in my legs, I went ahead and used this. And this is the Soul uh, Glow Oil. It's from ColourPop. ColourPop is a sister company to Seoul, and uh, they're on the same website. And I have a backup of this one as well. You probably can't tell it, but it's about down to there now. Um, but it's a really pretty rosy color. So, and it's very much an oil. And that's sort of what it looks like. And then you can go ahead and use it on your decolletage or you can use it like I'm doing on my arms right now. Um, but yeah, it does go ahead and sink in. It gives you a lot of moisture and so you have to spread it out. Um, so it is a lot thinner. Well, it's an oil, so it's a lot thinner than uh, cream or anything and it does give you a glow and again, yeah, the one that I put the, uh, this one that I put the uh, glow on from NYX, so this one's going to be darker. Um, but yeah, that was sort of um, what I did today to, you know, at least mimic sort of a suntan. And um, it does have a little bit of sparkle in it. And it, this is great to give you some glow and give you a little bit of color when you feel that, you know, you don't have a lot of color during the summer and everybody else is turned and tanned and, you know, <laughs> and 
you know, I wear three cool. So uh, once in a while, I do like to look as if I have a suntan. So uh, that's what I did. This is a great product. This is a great product. Nothing ended up moving or, you know, sliding or slipping. So it all worked really well. Uh, we had a good day and uh, we remembered some great memories and um, I think that's about all of what I have for today, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Bye.